But that was not always accepted. There are so many employers who said, ah, you are, this is rigid. This is not acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you are going to hire and shit, fine. If you can hire and fire, the economy will, will prosper and to improve. So in 2002, there were some amendments in the Labor Act. And that amendment put in a more sophisticated uh, formulation. We said, every employee, that's how it is formulated, the second top view of the Labor Act. Every employee has a right not to be unfairly dismissed. That is the law in the act. Every employee has a right not to be unfairly dismissed. So when that provision was put in, other protections were taken out because the thinking of the legislature at that time was that if we say we protect you against unfair dismissal, it means you cannot just save your employment term unless there is a fair reason for it. And this was the understanding. But in 2020, a company called Resort well Petroleum decided that it wanted to restructure itself, so forth, it to change ownership. Some people had taken over Resort well Petroleum. They wanted to get rid of some of the employees who were working uh, for the previous employer. And then, in terms of the law, they were supposed to go through what is called a retrenchment process. Our law was always very clear. If an employee is accused of misconduct, you go through a discipline process. If it is not misconduct, you must retrench. And if there is no retrenchment, you must agree with the employee unless you have employed them on a contract of fixed duration. If you want to avoid problems, just give the employee a fixed term contract. And then when it comes to an end, that's the end. So there were four ways in which an employment contract could be terminated. And I'm sure you can count them on your fingers. There were four. Either it's a fixed term, you give them for one year. Can I hear your it's automatic? But the law has even saying, can I, if a person's contract has ended, if you don't renew it and then take someone else, you were deemed to have, been, to have dismissed that person. And that's, that's the law. Who's on a, you know the doctrine of legitimate expectation. If you take me on a, my contracts are the subject renewal, but you then don't renew, but you take someone else. Ah, so the person is why did you not renew my contract? I could take you up for unfair dismissal. Right? Then the second thing, if it is not a fixed duration, you have to attempt a retrenchment. If it is not a retrenchment, there must be an act of chief misconduct in which thing you go through. If not that, then I agree with the employee. We don't try to be you know, the mutual team. This is the law that I can say from 1985 was law in the country. But in Zua Petroleum, Zua failed to do the training and the employees refused the package. So the lawyer said, ah, just dismiss them, give them notice, give them three months notice. We've just discovered that there's a clause in the Labor Act which allows you to do that. That clause was actually just section 204 of the Labor Act, which says that uh, these are the notice periods that apply in a contract that does not have a notice sheet period. So the lawyer uh, reasoned, why did they put notice periods in the Act? I'm sure those notice periods were put there if either party would want to exercise the that notice. So that means an employer still has a right to terminate on. So they were arguing that there is a loophole in the Labor Act. You think about the child who goes go get bread. This one, because I don't space where the way do I get the bread from Andre, I can go to town. That was the same argument. Who's one like, why are there notice periods? That simply means uh, there's scope for that. So this argument said that as if it were a real a joke. And that's all I meant. I never believed it. But I must give credit to some lawyer who was representing the employee when they, I was involved in this case. I was actually invited to go and argue in the labor court because some lawyer said, hmm, is this argument coming from the other side? And I thought, ah, no, no judge will ever listen to that nonsense. That's all I thought. But we went to the labor court. The labor court judge, 
she was checking my nose here, of course, just been uh, recently appointed to the next degree. Perfect, you see the degree of But dates of appointments, I know you watch her up when you are in those camps. So, yeah, I don't know what happened to my mind. So, who's there? But I feel that they use her up when you are going to get to the. So, I'm going to show you. She was recently appointed. Not very familiar with the level. そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。
My friends, very poor, which they get from capital, and Mubaza, they have power already. So the court decided that uh, after some that they decided that uh, as far as we are concerned, they agreed with the argument that uh, Section 204 IP you know, a right to cheat. I see there is always a law that has always been there, not a common law. Common law is a law that we've always <coughs> taken historically uh, from. When there is no legislation about parliament, we rely on a law which is made by judges in the absence of legislation. Most of like, you know, Moshana said, it's personally legislation. You cannot go to court and the court says there's no law. That's not allowed in our legal system. If there's no act of parliament, the judges must find a way of deciding that matter. And when they decide that matter, they must refer to what previous judges have said. So before the coming of labor legislation, the law always allowed an employer to terminate employment on notice. Do you know it's common law? Andre, the law that you fall back on if there is no other cheat. So the Supreme Court is going to fall back on the, judge, on the fact that I or the employer has a right to terminate employment. So, and he or she or it does not have to give energy. Listen, the Amu Lord contradicts the company and that was the argument the Supreme Court. Therefore, according to them, the law of the bank allows an employer to terminate the employment one. Obviously, that interpretation meant that they were telling us that this government is always allowed. And the interpretation is this one. We have a demo that you are never talking about. You can be higher than G. So their interpretation clearly is binding into the equity court, under the But that is necessarily correct. An interpretation may be correct or may be incorrect. But only that if it's interpreted in a court, you know it's acceptable. Because at the time, we have set up to interpret it, no. Or when you are faced with the interpretation at the highest level of the court, you have to decide whether you want to change the law or you want to lead to that interpretation. You are not allowed to say, we are not going to go by it. But you are allowed to say it's wrong, although I follow it. And things are like, eh, so I find what you want to do, I find what you want to do, I want to do, I don't know if you are a friend. I don't know if you are a friend. I don't know if you are a friend. The Supreme Court said the law. We, we, I mean, that was a true serious decision that the law allowed hiring and cheap. But that was what they were interpreting in their view. But the view of the Supreme Court is held to be binding for that period. I want you as you invest today, I hope all of you will invest in part. You will invest in the 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 part. No, 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 because you are never need the authority in the decision which is correct. So that's the other thing. And that's why I like The best example I can give you is there you are dead or your mom. And you do things because mama was not out. As it may not be necessarily be cheap, correct. As soon as you are not mama, you are not going to be cheap. But I would have been saying that you are not going to be cheap. You are wrong. That's what we all know at this level, aren't we? So even when we are in a country, when a court at the level of the Supreme Court makes a decision, a person of your levels here must be able to say, well, we will go with it because you are member of the Supreme Court, aren't we? But this decision is wrong. This decision is not cheap, right. And I'm sure you can make that distinction. Now, when I go into town, I speak to another boys. I want to distinction between a decision which is binding, and a decision which is right or good, and it's bad, although it is binding. 
can we make that distinction? Yeah, I did it. Don't worry, don't worry. I for life. I was two years. You retired six, seven years compound the retirement from a judge. So in two or three years, we won't have the chief justice. And a few other they will come and go, my chief justice. They may have the chief justice come behind me, but they don't want to be able to do it. They don't want to be able to do it. They don't want to be able to do it. They don't want to be able to do it. But you still want to be able to do it. But I'm just making these points for this kind of seminars must actually make you have that mind. I just want to know. No, no, no. What do we do? What do we do? When they retire, they just will be meeting them. They will judge me in their first way. I don't ask them in a position to change anything. You think I don't change your own position? I don't change your own by amendment. Must know, are you leaving a legacy or you're just coming up with a collection of chicks? Of rules. So please make a decision between a correct judge. So what about make an interpretation? Which meant that if we stood on 17 July 2015 when they made their decision, we would say, because the Supreme Court has said it, the law of Zimbabwe allows an employer to terminate employment merely by giving chief notice. The employer does not have to give any reason. The employer can walk out of a disciplinary hearing. <coughs> Wow, I could tell you what I'm accused. And then, wow, who's the evidence showed you are, you are innocent? But I, I'm, I'm abandoning these proceedings. Notice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm saying. That's what happened in the Zua Petronia. The employer could not agree with the employees on the retrenchment chip package. They went all the way to the Ministry of Labor. And then the Ministry of Labor was too quite one day to agree. The employees still said, no, we want more packages, we work, etc., etc. And then the lawyer says, no, just give them notice. No, no, no. I have to exercise my power in terms of what I like and I give. As if there was never any prior chief discussion. We were telling the Supreme Court, look, they will move around, for example, you your child bearing. Employer, I want to go out of the house, I want to go out of the My employers have had to put around my tenant in three months. And it's a very common thing. It's not a small thing. They don't want those things. So they find a way of terminating employment for no reason. Now, they are going to do more than that. They are going to do more than that. They are going to do more than that. But they will still be teaching. Oh, the panache. You know, they are going to sing about that. So that is not an issue. That is not an issue. If I don't say that, I'm going to be very serious. <laughs> so what I want you to realize is that if, if we stood on 17th July, we would have said that is law because it has been said by G. Now, but to his case, one person who is running the country was very clear that that law was wrong. I'm sure he had the place in that place. I thought the law is an S, a stupid S. I move on. He was very clear. His ministers were not as clear as that. Move on. They were also taking advantage of the new law, when my company, the employers, and who's on But the consequence of the Supreme Court judgment will expire in 10 minutes. By about 11 30, the judgment was delivered at 9 30. By 11 30 of that day, it was 17 July. 256 employees had already lost their jobs. There was a lawyer who was waiting for the judgment, who sent these people to collect it just after 9 30, wrote a letter, drafted a letter. Which does also on the internet in the network. That lawyer knows the one that you're in. Yeah, can you have that Every employer will say, I think this is, I got sent some of I sent that sample, I got one that you're in. 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 I understand. Drafted letters correctly. I am now exercising my right in terms of the common law to terminate it. I hereby give you it. Everyone was copying that thing. Saturday. Up to now, everyone was all that. I got one that you're in. I'm not going to tell you about the TV, about the NBC, about the NARA, about the OK. But my letter said, I got it. I got it. For all the 30,000 employees, they were using the same, almost the same chip. Chaplain. Now the next day, ah, the Anu Mushka thousand, ah, ah, 2,000, ah, 30,000 people. On the basis that an employer can hire a chip. Yet that was a wrong interpretation. 
or by binding. What would the, the legislature do? Now, 10,000 people may sell their labor, but the only other thing that a person who sells their labor may do, which was brought in by new democratic forces, is that they also have the right to vote. As far as you can go, but you know the right to cheat. If you have 30,000 people in the streets, you also have 30,000 votes. That's why I'm happy. I know it.